It's not what you said, it's how you said it. My wife reminds me that I should watch my tone sometimes when I'm conveying information to her. I might tend to have a business tone when really I should be friendly and conversational. As a frontline leader, a supervisor, or a manager, how you say things to your team also influences how they're going to respond to your message. Well, you know, John, we get that shipping in this afternoon and we should better get that job done, get it out of here by tomorrow for two or three o'clock. Hey, you finally spent some money and got a haircut, didn't you? <laughs> you start looking like a shaggy dog there for a while. Look at this new coveralls. Hey, you made a stop at the gap. Way to go there. It looks really sharp. How's that complexion? Working on it? Scrub a dub dub. Looking pretty good this morning. Hey, look at this. You know what? She's still got the hots running. She's the reason I come to work every day. Whoa! Ho ho! Three days in a row. Way to go there, buddy. Guys, I always wonder whether he's going to show up. You know what, John? They still love me. <laughs> Sir, you have no idea. Now, probably the classic way that we screw up the tone and the underlying message is when we use sarcasm. Now, sarcasm simply means that the tone and the message don't match. And as you probably know, if you say something like, well, that's a great job you did there, what people see is the underlying message says, that's a great job, but the way you said it is you're a screw up. I remember in my early days of being a leader that one of the women that worked for me came up and said, Greg, you're so sarcastic when you give us feedback, we don't know whether we're screwing up or whether you're just joking around. So it would really help us to say it like it is. So you as a leader need to manage the tone because the tone will actually override the underlying message. So what kind of message are you saying? Are you coming across too aggressive? which isn't good because then you end up making people feel demeaned. I remember a coaching client that I had to work with, I was brought in because she tended to talk down to her team. Well, that is not acceptable. And unfortunately, she wasn't even self-aware that her tone was demeaning. She would tend to talk down with her tone. Um, so you want to have a conversational tone, that is just kind of even and light. It doesn't mean you can't deal with heavy issues. There's just no need to really get aggressive or to yell or to, again, make people feel small. Your job is not to make people small, it's to grow them to be, make their capability even higher. Now, again, leaders are not often aware of their tone. So if you think though that there might be a problem or maybe you've received some feedback, you could actually go to your team and say, guys, how is the way I say things? Do I tend to say it in the way that you think is appropriate or what do you think I should do differently? And if you heard yourself communicating, what would you think? Would you think that you come off as a little too direct, a little too blunt, a little too aggressive, or do you keep that nice conversational tone? There's really no need to lose your cool or demean people with your tone. It doesn't help you convey your message any better. If you stay even, People know that you're in their corner. You want to coach them and help them improve their results. So as you get better in managing your conversational tone, you may have other leadership aspects that you want to improve in yourself. You can do that by having us come in and do an on-site workshop, or maybe come and attend one of our public workshops, or maybe use one of our online resources with your team. Anything you need, you just reach out to us at frontlineleadership.com or connect with us on one of the many social media platforms. On Facebook, you would search us at Frontline Leader.